Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch, GameCube and Wii, RetroArch, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here with arguably the biggest news of the night. We're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. Now, it is worth pointing out that this is the paid testing early access version of Skyline, Skyline Edge, but Skyline Edge version 44 released today, and this is a big one. It fixes lighting and blur issues in many games. The takeover is now in game. Pokemon Scarlet is looking really good. Here is Octopath Traveler up and running. Attack on Titan 2 is up and running at about 43 frames per second, and this is on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Here's Team Sonic racing between 20 to 30 frames per second. It looks like most of the fog has been removed from Oceanhorn 2 and Aragami. The Witcher 3 is in game. It's not perfect, but it's in game. Here's a before and after of Link's Awakening. On the left, we have the older version of Skyline Edge, and on the right, we've got Skyline Edge version 44, and you can see the lighting is a lot better in version 44. Here is Pokemon Violet up and running and looking great, and someone claims that Pokemon Brilliant Diamond is fully playable at 100% speed, although they are using a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Now, as I said, this is Skyline Edge, the paid testing early access version of Skyline, and these changes, once they've been worked out, make their way to the free main mainline build within a couple of weeks, possibly even sooner. Once these hit the mainline version, I'll let you know. Next up, we're talking about GameCube and Wii emulation with Dolphin, and if you like to use a light gun, you might like this update. Someone has just released a new Dolphin X64 emulator accuracy pack that works with the Sindon light gun and gun 4 IR. Use this and get rid of the crosshairs in almost 40 Wii games. It is worth pointing out that the light gun accuracy pack isn't an emulator. It's an add-on to Dolphin, so you will need Dolphin up and running on your PC. If you are curious about this one, I'll drop a link to ProfGLX's GitHub in the description below. It's free and open source. On this GitHub, you'll find pretty much everything you need, including step-by-step -step instructions on how to get it up and running, and also a list of every single game it works with. Next up, we're talking about the old Windows Space Cadet Pinball on Android. And Space Cadet Pinball on Android just got a brand new update to version 2.3. It is open source, it's 100% free, and it is on GitHub. I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Version 2.3 might be the last release for a while. It's got some bug fixes. Moving on, and I've got a quick update about RetroArch. And if you've got a Mac, you're going to like this update. Maybe you won't like this update if you don't like RetroArch. This is Libretro's latest tweet, and it says RetroArch Mac on Steam is slowly coming together. Both Apple and Intel CPUs will be supported. At this point in time, I don't have an ETA on when it's going to be ready, but at the same time here, it's nice to see some progress. And speaking about progress, next up we're talking about Wine, which stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or Wine is not an emulator, depending on how you want to interpret that. Anyways, Wine just got a brand new update to version 8.3, that is the development release, and if you don't know what Wine is, it basically lets you use Windows programs on non-Windows operating systems. It's more or less a translation layer. Next up, we're talking about SNES emulation on Android. In fact, we're talking about a whole lot of emulation on Android. Pretty much every single one of Robert Broglia's APKs got updated. I would argue that the most popular one is SNES 9XEX+, Plus, but there is NES, Commodore 64, Sega Mega Drive, MSX, Game Boy Color, and more. You do have to pay for them on the Google Play Store, but they're 100% free on GitHub. At the time of filming, version 1.5.68 is the latest release, and it does contain a couple of bug fixes. It's not necessarily a huge release. If you wanted to pick up these versions from GitHub, you will need a GitHub account, but I'll drop a link to this page in the description below. All you've got to do is just scroll down a little bit and click on the emulator you want to download once you're signed into GitHub. And speaking about Android, Android 15's codename has been revealed today, and it is Vanilla Ice Cream. If you know what Android 14's codename is, let me know in the comments below. And last up here, we're talking about the Steam Deck, and Steam Deck OS 3.46 Beta has released. This one has something very interesting on it. Ray tracing is now available in Doom Eternal. If you are in the beta program for the Steam Deck and you've tried out Doom Eternal, let me know in the comments below if you've noticed that ray tracing is better or worse or how do you like the performance on it. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Actually, Rosie did make an appearance. All stuff and one fluff. 
We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.